Last night, Ducati announced a new limited edition of their Diavel 1260 Power Cruiser in collaboration with their local supercar chums, Lamborghini. It takes an already exotic looking machine and adds a new finish and a bunch of upgrades, paying homage to one of Lambo's own exclusive editions, the Cyan FKP37. So in today's video, we're going to go over the details of this incredible looking bike and find out everything you need to know about it. But before we get started, if you're new here and you want to see all of the latest new bikes for 2021, then please do remember to hit subscribe. I'll be covering as many of them as possible over the next couple of months so be sure to subscribe if you want to see those videos as soon as they go live. Before we dive into the Lamborghini edition, it's worth a quick look back over the impressive specs of the Diavel 1260S that it's built upon. It's powered by Ducati's 1262cc Testa Stretta DVT V-twin engine with variable valve timing that provides smooth delivery in the lower revs whilst opening up some serious power at the top end. It produces a whopping 159 horsepower at 9,500 RPM and has plenty of guts too with 129 newton meters of peak torque produced at 7,500 RPM, all whilst complying to Euro 5 emissions regulations. Ducati say that it has a flat torque curve right from the medium low revs, which guarantees a vigorous and energetic response at all times. Some of the key features of the chassis include the beautiful exposed tubular steel trellis frame, a single sided aluminium swing arm, and a massive 240 section rear tyre. Suspension is from Olin's and is fully adjustable both front and rear, with a 48mm upside down fork with a titanium nitride coating on the stanchions. Brakes are from Brembo with a pair of their four-piston, radially-mounted monoblock M50 calipers at the front with a radial master cylinder on hand too. Rider aids are lean sensitive owing to a six-axis inertial measurement unit, opening up cornering ABS, traction control, wheelie control, launch control and cruise control all of which might come in handy when you consider the performance of this bike. Other power cruisers like the Triumph Rocket 3 produce immense levels of power and torque, but typically weigh in at 300kg and above. The Diavel 1260S does it all with a wet weight of 247kg, making its acceleration and handling pretty unbeatable in the segment. So you might say a perfect candidate for a collaboration with the manufacturer of some of the world's most performant cars. And so a quick word on the car that Ducati and Lamborghini chose as inspiration for this project. Lamborghini say that the Cyan FKP37 is the most prestigious car that they've ever made with only 63 units ever produced, each of which was personalised to specific customer requests, making it a masterpiece of exclusivity, design and innovation. The overall shape is described as having sharp aerodynamic lines and an unmistakable silhouette. In terms of performance, it's the most powerful car they've ever made made, with a combined thermal and electric output of a massive 819 horsepower. Andrea Ferrassi, the director of the Centro Stile Ducati, said the Diavel 1260 Lamborghini was designed using the same stylistic language that distinguishes the super sports car, so we have redesigned the elements that most characterise the Diavel. For example, the rims, which are a fundamental component for a motorcycle like this, are forged and immediately bring the bike close to the car. The entire bodywork was made of carbon fibre, a precious and light material, and the result is a bike with a great stage presence, a true collector's item from the point of view of style and 100% Diavel in riding. Meteor Bokert, head of design at Lamborghini, said that we're convinced that our design is strong and one of the most recognisable in the automotive sector. The unique silhouette, clean but extremely distinguished, defines the base of our design language. Our visionary design approach allows us to transfer our DNA to other the products and this was achieved through strong teamwork, sharing our style and the advantage of being two brands inspired by the same values and a commitment to fun to drive. So here's the result of that ethos, a limited run of 630 Diavel 1260 Lamborghinis. The most notable feature is the finish, which is the exact same gear green used on the Cyan FKP37. The frame, seat pan and wheels on the other hand use a colour called Electrum Gold, which adds a premium pop to proceedings. The traditional Ducati red isn't completely absent though, with the Brembo M50 calipers painted entirely in that colour as a nod to their 
own signature finish. The new upgraded forged wheels have a more intricate design than that found on the other Diavel 1260s, which almost exactly match those on the car and presumably shed a little weight. There's also new carbon bodywork with air intakes and radiator covers that Ducati say were designed by superimposing floating elements onto the main structure. On top of that, the silencer cover, belly pan, central tank cover, seat cover, front and rear mudguards, dashboard cover and headlight frame are also made from carbon and combined with the weight saved on the wheels, the Diavel 1260 Lamborghini is roughly a kilogram lighter than the S model with a new dry weight of 220 kilograms or 246 kilograms wet. Interestingly, the press release lists the peak power of the Lamborghini edition at an extra 3 horsepower with 162 produced at the same 9,500 RPM, but there's no specifics about how this has been achieved so perhaps from the revised exhaust setup or a tweak to the ECU. Elsewhere in the design, Ducati say that they've also paid homage to the hexagon and Y motifs that are part of the Lamborghini design language in the shape of the exhaust and the design details of the seat. There are some nice finishing touches elsewhere on the bike with a Lamborghini logo on the tank, a dedicated Diavel 1260 Lamborghini logo on the air intakes, a number 63 on the radiator guards, and each of the 630 units produced will get a serial number on an aluminium plate on the frame. You even get a dedicated startup screen for the TFT dash with a pair of logos followed by the silhouette of this specific bike. If this level of exclusivity isn't already enough, you can go a step further with a colour matched helmet with coordinated graphics designed in-house at Duke Ducati. Personally, although this isn't a finish you'd normally expect from Ducati, I actually think it works really well. It would have to be noticeably different from their usual designs in order to make it a truly special collaboration, and I think this Diavel does just that. It looks particularly good to me in the shots alongside the car, and for anyone who's lucky enough to own the Lambo and have a bike license, this just seems like an absolute no-brainer to me. At very best, the 63 cars would only represent 10% of the 630 bikes being made, but I doubt that the rest will hang around for long. The price is £27,795, which is a good chunk more than the S model at £20,195, but it's a special looking machine that I'm sure will get snapped snapped up when they become available at the end of December. The base Diavel 1260 and the 1260S both also gain Euro 5 approval for the next model year, with the 1260 available in dark stealth and the S available in red or black, both with a red frame. That rounds off the Ducati Power Cruiser updates for 2021 with the X Diavel refresh already being announced last week. I've linked to a full video that I made about it in the description below in case you haven't seen it already. As always, I'd love to know your thoughts on this new Lamborghini collaboration. It's certainly more bling than the rest of the Diavel range, but what else would you expect from a collab with a luxury car maker? Day in, day out, I think I'd prefer the stealthier black models, but alongside the car, this version really does look special. Let me know your favourite down in the comments below, and if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe and I'll catch you next time.